Welcome to the WGMS Radio TV Network Report. I'm Chris Skinner. And I'm Allison Vasquez. Hope everyone is safe and healthy. Let's get started. We want to acknowledge Greenbelt Middle School Chinese teacher Dr. Joanne Liu, who provides Chinese subtitles for an episode of the PBS documentary series, Asian Americans. The five episode series, which aired in May 2020, covers the experience of Asian Americans in the United States, presenting their struggles against discrimination and their invaluable contributes to American history. Lou is in her second year of teaching 6th through 8th grade Chinese here at Greenwood, GMS. Greenwood Middle School offers a three tier program consisting of an introduction in Chinese 1 and 2. Lou has spent 11 years as a teacher in Prince George's County with previous jobs at Laurel and Crossland High School. Thank you, Dr. Liu, for all you do. Amor Wilson is the winner of the 2021 annual Prince George's County Spelling Bee. The sixth grader at Bradbury Heights Elementary School battled through 15 rounds before officially taking the title with the word solenoid. Friday, no Friday night's competition was the first virtual spelling bee held by the Washington Informer since becoming the National Spelling Bee's local sponsor 39 years ago in D.C. and five years ago in Prince George's County. Son of famed American artist charged in January 6 Capitol riot. For years, Vincent Gillespie waged a legal battle to try and gain control of hundreds of paintings by his father, renowned post-war American artist Gregory Lee Gillespie. On January 6, 2021, prosecutors say Gillespie engaged in a di very different kind of battle, joining rioters as they tried to wrest control of the U.S. Capitol from the federal government in one, of the, in one of the most violent confrontations of the riot. The AP video that captured a flush Gillespie that day milling about outside the Capitol speaking defiantly about his role in the attack and his lament that more like-minded like individuals didn't join the fight reveal both the depth of resolve of many of the rioters and the uncertainty others felt about just what they would do once inside the building. Police releases videos in probe of the Baldwin film set shooting. Law enforcement officials released a trove of video evidence Monday in the ongoing investigation of a fatal October shooting of the cinematographer by actor and producer Alec Baldwin on the set of a Western movie. Santa Fe County Sheriff Adam Mendoza said in a statement that the investigation by his agency remains open and ongoing as it awaits the results of ballistics and forensic analysis from the FBI as well as studies of fingerprint and DNA. Once again, we welcome you to the WGMS Radio TV Network Report. I'm Allison Vasquez, and we will be right back after this public service announcement. How was school? Music can help you express how you're feeling. When you can't find the language, find the lyric. Welcome back to the WGMS Radio TV Network Report. I'm Kitter Skinner. In sports, Celtics won't fear the deer or any team after sweeping nets. The Celtics swept their way into the Eastern Conference semifinals with a 116-112 victory on Monday night in Game 4. Becoming the first team into the second round, Jason Tatum scored 29 points and Brown had 22. Next up could be the NBA champion, Milwaukee Bucks, who hold a 3-1 lead in their series against Chicago. And the Celtics will have a home court advantage in part because they refuse to consider trying to lose their way out of the number two seed to avoid the Nets. Don Kick scores 33, Mavs draw Jazz 102-77 for a 3-2 series lead. Luka Don Kick delighted the crowd in his first home playoff game coming off a calf injury. The young Dallas superstar had 33 points and 13 rebounds while also being thrown to the court on a hard foul that led to Hazen's Whiteside's ejection as the Mavericks routed the Jazz 102-77 on Monday night for a 3-2 lead in their first round series. Donkick made his series debut in Game 4 at Utah when the uh, Jazz scored the last 5 points in the final 31 seconds for a 1-point win that evened the series. He never let Game 5 get close. 
You're looking at the WGMS Radio TV Network Report, and we'll be right back with our closing remarks after this public service announcement. I don't think that many kids in my son's school even do it. Get your head out of the cloud. Talk to your kid about vaping. Visit talkaboutvaping.org. Welcome back to the WGMS Radio TV Network Report. I'm Kitty Skinner. And I'm Allison Vasquez. The WGMS Radio TV Network Report is a food for thought and education to absorb. You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Say no more. For all of us here at Greenbelt Middle School, we're out of time. Be safe and have a great day, everybody.